Nikki, hey, I know, I know, the party started. It's almost over. Where are you? I'm on my way. Ugh, you make me crazy. Jackson's really looking forward to it. Get over here. We miss you. I miss you too. I'll be there. Sorry, Nick, I need to take this. I'll, I'll see you soon. Good. You got out. Look, if you need some wheels, give me a call. I'll, I'll set you up. Pre-owned cars? You'd rather register yourself at a car dealer? I don't ask questions. This guy gets me any ride I want. And you, if you need it. I just might. How's Maurice doing? Oh, he's all sunshine and buttercups. I'm gonna dump him at my little dumping place. I need him alive, Jordy. Yeah, yeah, alive. Whatever. Goes against your better nature, huh? Well, I'd pop him and be done, but hey, you pay me right, I'll keep him alive as long as you want. I do work for a paycheck. I haven't been in Nikki since the funeral. Am I ready? Jack's last birthday, Lena sang off key. Happy birthday. Full throttle, no holes barred. Now, I'm afraid of the silence. You know what? There was a blackout at the game. Lights were out all over. No sabe administrar nada. They need Slow to the fuck down. down. Okay. How old are you today? Ten. No, I think you're nine. I'm ten. Nine. Ten. Nine. <laughs> ten. Well, in that case, uh, you deserve ten birthday tickles. What? One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, Stop. seven, Stop. eight, Stop. nine, ten. <laughs> ten. 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 Stay here for a second. So, an entire year and... and yeah, late. Yeah, I'm sorry, Nick. Really. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You look older. Oh, nice. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> it's his first birthday without Lena. Uh, how's he doing? Still doesn't talk to anybody but me. Yolanda says it's his way of maintaining some sort of control. Yolanda? His therapist. She's helping him. It's good. Just slow. It's hard, but we're gonna get through it. Mm -hmm. Jax. Hey. Sorry I'm late. Can I, uh, do I get a hug? Wow. You are big. <laughs> so, hey, what, what do you got there? Wow, the healer. Cool. You brought him a real toy, huh? <laughs> Why don't you bring up your toys? I'm gonna speak with your uncle. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be up there in a sec. This matters, you being here. I just need to make sure that things are different. Things are different. You and Jax are the most important people in my life. I'm not gonna stop watching out for you. <laughs> Always the big brother, huh? <laughs> Last time I was back here, it was Lena's birthday. 
Jackson adored her. We all did. You missed all the fun. The kids were playing vigilante, imitating that guy they keep talking about on TV. Let me guess. Jax was the vigilante. No, they were all the vigilantes, and I was the only villain, but I make a mean bad guy. <laughs> I gave him hell. I should have come earlier. I could have warned them. Don't mess with my sister. Remember when you and Mom were both sick as dogs, but Dad insisted his boy was gonna have his birthday cake? That thing was an abomination, all burnt and lopsided. That was Dad in a nutshell. He did a lot of ugly things, but it was always about family. <sighs> Listen to me, I'm rambling. Oh, really? <laughs> no, 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 don't let me interrupt you. Who is this? <laughs> you think blogging caller ID will hide you? I don't know what's so entertaining, but the police won't find it very funny at all. I'm gonna give you some advice. Are you listening? Go outside, meet people, get a life, and stop calling me. What did you say? Listen, the police can trace this call. I know where you live. How are the locks on those doors? Who is this? Why are you calling? Do you feel safe, Nikki? Who was that? Doesn't matter, just some stupid crank, it happens. Do you think this is strong enough? Look, did you know his voice? Oh, Jesus, Aiden, just leave it. It's fine. It's fine. He thinks he can get inside. How do you know what he thinks? You're checking the locks. Look, I can handle this on my own. We do not need your help. Nikki, I can find this guy. Okay, look, Aiden, God, you have not changed at all. We do not need your help. Please stop trying to fix our problems. Every time you try, you just make things worse. I better go. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Grown man making crank calls. Let's see how safe you feel when I trace your call. There you are. Damn it. He's on the move. I've been afraid of this. Threats to my family. Again. What? Yeah, the call's breaking up. I can't hear you. No, you can hear me perfectly. You need to stop right now. Yeah. Hello? Still there? Can't hear you. Okay, gotta go. Oh! Help! Come on, man. Excuse me? Oh, Help! No. Oh, God, I don't want to die. I'm not taking any crap. Yeah, I can't believe you're paying me that much just to make a crank call. Nikki Pierce, 
right? I'll mention the locks like you said. And her kid. That, this feels wrong. That's the point. Someone paid this asshole to harass Nikki. Who would pay for something like that? Oh, God! <gasps> Did you get anywhere with DeadSec? Any of those CTOS hacks? Yeah, I'm still trying. They're kicking you off. Give me time. Okay, well, I need your help then. Can you trace a phone call? How can I refuse my best client? Wait, what am I looking at here? It's from a guy who threatened my family. I want to know who hired him. Well, the call came from somewhere in the Loop District. But that's as far as I can see. Okay. If I can hack CTOS inside the Loop... Then I should be able to pinpoint the source of that call. Let's do that. Bloom's building a new CTOS center in the Loop. It's perfect. DeadSec tried to attack that center last month. We failed, and they just added more armed guards. So it won't be easy. Be careful. You sound like my sister. Relax. Make sure I'm armed and dangerous. Bloom hires private contractors to guard their CTOS centers. These guys will be geared up and wired for action. But I'll be ready. If CTOS doubles their guards, I better double my weapons. Hey, how's it going? 